The actor who portrays Bruce Lee in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has broken his silence about the recent backlash. If you still haven't seen Quentin Tarantino's latest film, be warned, there are some major spoilers ahead. Shortly after the July 26th world premiere of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Bruce Lee's daughter Shannon sharply criticized the film's portrayal of her late legendary father. Shannon felt the movie made a mockery out of the martial arts master, telling the rap that Quentin Tarantino made him look like an arrogant who was full of hot air. The controversial scene in question involves a fight between Bruce Lee and Brad Pitt's character, stuntman Cliff Booth, a scuffle that eventually finds Booth shoving Lee against the side of a car. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. It's called manslaughter. In an interview with Birth Movie's Death, Mike Moe, the actor who portrays Bruce Lee, revealed he had some major issues with the first version of the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood script. I'm not going to tell you what the original script had exactly, but when I read it, I was so conflicted because he's my hero. Bruce in my mind was literally a god. He wasn't a person to me, he was a superhero. And I think that's how most people view Bruce. But Moe firmly believes Tarantino has a lot of respect for Bruce Lee. The actor points out that Lee didn't actually lose the fight. It was technically a tie. If you've seen the film, you'll remember that Lee wins the first round and loses the second. The battle is broken up before the winner can be determined in a third round. Mo also makes a point to say, The thing about it is, number one, it's a Tarantino film. He's not going to do the thing that everybody expects anybody else to do. You've got to expect the unexpected. And number two, I knew from the jump Tarantino loves Bruce Lee. He reveres him. To Mo, the fight scene wasn't about disrespect the beloved Hong Kong American actor. It was about establishing Cliff Booth as a force to be reckoned with. It's a hugely important scene. What better way to show how dangerous Cliff is than for him to show up and even match him for a little bit with Bruce? At that moment when I get slammed, that's when Bruce realizes, oh sh**. This guy is not just a stunt guy. Because Bruce didn't always have the most affection for stuntmen, he didn't respect all of them, because he was better than all the stunt guys. So after I got slammed, I get serious. Mo also admitted, I can see how people might think Bruce got beat because of the impact with the car, but you give me five more seconds and Bruce would have won. And what if the fight had really happened on the set of The Green Hornet, the real-life television series starring Lee as a Green Hornet's mass driver, Kato? Mo thinks it would have motivated Lee to continue improving his martial arts skills. I know people are going to be up in arms about the scene, but when I went into my deep dive of studying Bruce, he, more than anybody, wanted people to know he's human. And I think I respect him more knowing that he had these challenges, these obstacles, just like everybody else. I don't know any actor out there that doesn't have some sense of wanting to be more. And I think that's the sign of somebody that wants greatness and will achieve greatness always wanting more. Nevertheless, some viewers are going to have a tough time with Tarantino's creative choices here. As Bruce Lee biographer Matthew Polly told the rap, Tarantino could have achieved the same effect, using Bruce to make Brad Pitt's character look tough without the mockery. Tarantino, for his part, remained silent on the situation. <laughs> just kidding. You think he would sit this one out? During a film premiere press conference in Moscow, the director reminded everyone that his movies are make-believe. Could Cliff beat up Bruce Lee? Brad would not be able to beat up Bruce Lee, but Cliff maybe could. If you ask me the question, who would win in a fight, Bruce Lee or Dracula, it's the same question. It's a fictional character. He's a fictional character, so he could beat Bruce Lee up. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.